Are you like me, over 40 and sick of hearing what not to wear? Don't tell me what I can and cannot wear. Isn't that maddening? Don't you guys get sick of that? Today, we're gonna rewrite those style rules together. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My mission through my channel to help women like you, busy juggling life, look like the best version of yourself. Why? because it brings me so much joy to help other women. It has from day one. That's why I'm five and a half years in and I'm still here uploading videos every single week on YouTube because I love all of you. <laughs> I think you're awesome. Okay, so if you haven't heard that lately, you are awesome, okay? I mean it. Look in that mirror and tell yourself, I am awesome. Yes. Okay, now let's talk about debunking all of those silly age specific style rules. So I actually did a Google search and I look like what not to wear over 40. And there is a laundry list of things that arguably no one should wear. Okay, let's be honest. <laughs> but what does this mean? What does it mean to get older? Do you have to dress differently? How do you dress differently but still stay current and modern? So let's talk about my style rules. You ready? Let's do it. The first one is, Drum roll, please. You can wear anything you want. Yay! Ta da! How about that for a concept? I am giving you permission to wear anything that you want. Now, let me give you a disclaimer. You should wear anything you want as long as it feels comfortable to you, as long as you feel amazing in it, as long as it fits and flatters your body, as long as you have an extra spring in your step when you put it on you can wear anything you want. If you wanna wear a shorter dress and you have amazing legs and you wanna show those off, go for it. I wear shorter dresses all the time because I feel like it makes my legs look longer and P.S. I actually like my legs. So I do wear sometimes on occasion for special occasions, a shorter skirt. And yes, this hemline for this particular dress, which is a sequin dress by Eero, could be considered a mini skirt. But guess what? I'm breaking the rules. All the rule books say over 40, you shouldn't wear a mini skirt. No mini dresses, no mini skirts. Well, here I am wearing a mini dress and I think it looks pretty good. So absolutely wear what you want, wear what makes you feel comfortable and confident and gives you that extra spring in your step and makes you feel amazing. Fashion should be fun. Rule number two I wanna talk about, instead of thinking about it in terms of what I can't wear, let's think about it in terms of what is my best asset. So think about your best asset. Is that your legs? Wear the mini dress or mini skirt. Is that your shoulders or your chest? Wear something like this, a one shoulder sexy black top where it shows off your shoulders and your arms and you feel like a million bucks in that. You're showing a little bit of skin, you're showing what you consider are your best assets. You feel comfortable, confident, sassy, sexy, hot. All of those things that you still should feel regardless of your age because there is no shelf life on feeling modern, youthful, current, hot, sexy. Just because you're over a certain age doesn't mean you have to disappear into oblivion, doesn't mean you can't have fun with fashion, doesn't mean you can't wear what you want. So think about your assets, those are the favorite parts of your body, and then highlight that area. The next rule we are rewriting, do wear any trend you want. What? There's so many blogs that I read that were like, women over 40 shouldn't wear trends. Huh? That doesn't make any sense to me, all right? There is no way I am going to stop wearing trends because trends make me happy. Do I wear all the trends? Absolutely not. I wear the ones that I love, the ones I gravitate towards, the ones that make me feel, what are they? Like amazing, special, happy, joyful. And that's what you should do too. If you have that feeling of like, ooh, am I trying too hard with this? My go-to fail-safe formula is to pick one trend and then keep everything else really neutral and quiet. Let's say for example, basic dark wash skinny jeans like I do in this look with a camisole and then a moto jacket. So in this look, really the moto jacket is the trend and everything else is pretty, pretty normal, right? Pretty basic. That's one way that you can do it without 
feeling like you're stepping too far out of your comfort zone, but 100% you can wear trends every season. And so I do a seasonal trend video. You watch those videos, you see what trends speak to you and which trends really fit and align with you and your style again. And then you pick those, you cherry pick those and you recreate and try those trends. The next style rule we are rewriting, and this one is not gonna be popular with your husband or your spouse or your partner, whomever is in your life, your boyfriend, do spend more. I think as you get older, you can appreciate that higher quality pieces are going to last longer. They feel better on your skin. They drape and fall better and you're going to get more use out of them. I, for one, am just a little bit tired of the whole fast fashion thing and buying pieces for one season that literally fall apart after three washes. I'd rather go to a thrift store at this point and buy a high quality piece secondhand than invest in really, really cheap made in China and some sketchy factory pieces. So I am giving you license to really take a look at your wardrobe and say, okay, what are those core pieces? When you're thinking about spending more, Think about spending more on your basics. I would do an 80-20 rule, like spend 80% of your budget on the basics and 20% of your budget on the trends. So maybe that's only you buy two or three high quality basics each year and that's it. That's fine. You have time. You can build up that like capsule wardrobe or that basics wardrobe that you need in order to have this really awesome wardrobe. So this year I made two major investments. I invested in a Bellman blazer, which is the most gorgeous blazer in the whole wide world and I love it so much. That one is very pricey. There's another version of this by Veronica Beard that is more in the mid-range price point and then there are versions that are a lot less. But again, I have a version that's a lot less. It's by Lioness and I love it, it's cool. But I already know it's not gonna last that long. It's already balling up in the arms, like the fabric is balling up and the color's a little bit dingy at this point and it's not you know, quite as white as it was and I have the, the navy one too and maybe that'll last a little bit longer because it's not white, but still it's not gonna last season after season after season like the Veronica Beard will or the Balmain will. Another big investment I made this season was my Chanel boy bag which I talked about the story behind that bag in my best of 2019 video. If you missed that one, you should go back and watch it because that story is really special to me and it was a special moment for me in my life to buy that bag. So anyway, hope you'll go check out that video after this one. But the bag itself, it's such an investment piece and it is exorbitantly expensive, but there's a couple things I wanna say about that. And one is these designer bags, these high-end designer bags are the only things that you can actually resell. They retain their value, you can resell in a year, two years, three years and still get a lot of money out of them. And secondly, it can be something that you pass down to your daughter. So I have a daughter, she's only seven right now, almost eight, but one day I hope to pass down my Chanel bag to her the same way my mother-in-law passed down her Chanel bag to me. Do spend more and then you can blame me, okay, if you get in trouble. Blame me, but do it responsibly, okay? Don't, don't put yourself in debt, that's crazy. The last rule I wanna rewrite is to have fun with accessories. Have fun with them. Let's think about one of my favorite mature style icons. Her name is Iris Arpel. She is in her 90s and she wears, her signature is these big, round, thick glasses with thick frames that are dark. Those glasses are so cool and she became known for those glasses. She also wears like boas and big giant jewelry and big earrings and she wears color and prints and all of these things that when you look up what not to wear over 40, it's all of those things. Like it's big jewelry, big bold prints, colorful stuff. Like what is that? It doesn't make any sense to me. Of course you should wear those things if it feels like it makes you happy and joyful and confident. You don't wanna look like the crazy lady on the street, you know what I mean? But if you can own it and rock it and be it and do it and wear it and feel like you can tackle anything that's coming your way when you wear that, cool, really cool accessory, whether it's a scarf. I love scarves. I have all kinds of scarves. And I also love belts. So I've really invested in a couple of really cool belts this year, like my Valentino reversible belt. I love that belt so much. Wear those bigger and bolder accessories. Don't be afraid of them. If you're worried about how to style them, you're like, eh, am I going overboard? Am I 
starting to look like the crazy lady, I don't know, I'm not sure, then what I would do is I would choose one big accessory and then again, keep everything else neutral and quiet. That'll be how you kind of dip your toe into it. So let's recap our rewriting of the style rules for women over 40. First off, you can wear anything you want, yay. Secondly, think about your best assets. Highlight those, whatever they are. Don't think you have to cover up everything because you don't. Three, do wear trends. So key. Just because you're over 40 doesn't mean you're over the hill and you have to cover everything up and you can't be modern, youthful, and cool. You can totally be hip, rock whatever you want. Number four, do spend more. Stop buying crappy things that only last you a season. It's not worth it. And number five, accessories should be fun. Have fun with them. Play around with them. If you really love these big giant pearl earrings and you're like feeling a little bit hesitant, just try them. Wear them. See how you feel. Wear what you want. Wear what makes you happy. Wear what makes you feel good. Wear what makes you feel amazing. That will impact how you feel on the inside. Looking good means feeling good and that is such a beautiful, powerful, transformative thing. Some of you may have style questions. You can always post those style questions in the comments below. You also can go over and visit our free Facebook group and post your style questions there. You get answers from like-minded, supportive, positive, empowering women, and that group is free. I also just wanted to remind you that when you sign up for my email newsletter, which goes out once a week, you do get some freebies with that. And one of the freebies that you get that's so invaluable are those wardrobe basic checklists per season. So I do a spring summer one and I do a fall winter one and you get those checklists. You can download them, print them out, make sure you have all of the basics that you need. I'll put a link to that below for you guys to check out as well. Okay, so here's the pledge. We're all going to do this, okay? Are you guys on board with me? You ready for it? So we are all gonna pick one trend that we're gonna try this season that makes us feel a little bit uneasy, but we're gonna do it anyway, okay? So please list below what is that one trend you're going to try. For me, this season, it was combat boots, all right? Now for spring, yee my crazy trend that I'm gonna try that makes me feel totally uncomfortable, but I'm gonna do it anyway, is a corset. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna find one, I'm gonna style it, you're gonna see. Anyway, tell us what your trend's going to be. By the way, if you missed my spring trends video, that's where I list all of the spring trends and you wanna see that one, you can watch that, it'll be right up here and also in the description box. So if you're not really sure what's on trend or what's happening right now in fashion, you can go over and watch that video and then come back and write your trend. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.